Hey, welcome back to another vlog. I'm KB Maria. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share, all that good stuff. I was supposed to be getting my nails done right now. It was my intention to be here at 12 right when they opened, but y'all, Cyberneys River was having a full-blown tantrum, so I didn't leave the house until 12.15. Well, I didn't get here until 12.15. I wanted to be here like 11.50. And when I tell you it was people being serviced and about seven or eight people waiting in there. <laughs> Baby, I'm not finna sit up in here for three hours waiting on y'all to get no nails and feet done. I got other stuff to do. So I just made an appointment for um, tomorrow to get my nails done. So. Baby daddy in here. And baby's dresser together. It's nice. I like it. <laughs> hey y'all would you believe me if I said it's been like a week since y'all saw that last clip right when I got back home Sunday I started feeling like sniffles and sneezy and I was like shoot River probably gave me you know whatever she got when she came home Friday and so Monday like by the time I got up Monday, it was over with. Like my whole body. You know how you feel like you have the flu? Like your body aches with every movement? That's what I had. So, um, well I didn't have the flu, but that's what it felt like. It was that kind of pain. And being pregnant, if you didn't know, you really can't take a lot of medicine. Um, you can take like a Tylenol, but you can't take like, you know, NyQuil and Mucinex. I mean, like, maybe you could take Mucinex, but you can't take like a lot of stuff that you're uh, that you could take if you weren't pregnant. So Monday, when I tell y'all, Malcolm went to work that morning and I was in River's playroom on my team call, like on the floor, laying on a teddy bear because I was done. Malcolm had to come home from work and take over. And I was in the bed from like noon that day until 7.30 a.m. the next day. I didn't get back up. I was just, it was bad. My body was hurting so bad and then, um you know it, it kind of progressed it I never really had a sore throat but I had like the sneezing and then like maybe come Tuesday Wednesday I started getting the runny nose which has led me to now which is Friday heavy congestion so for the past two nights I have slept sitting upright I have not been able to breathe out of my nose at all um <laughs> no matter how much blowing I do I realized I had a facial steamer last night and I sat in front of that for about five minutes and it cleared it up really good enough for me to get through the night and I did it again this morning so um that's pretty much all I've been able to do to get some type of relief but you know me a little scary I was like let me just come get COVID tested again just to be on the safe side I'm telling y'all I be I bees up through here okay so I'm at a rapid site I've never done a rapid test before I just did the test and I'm waiting. They make you wait here to get your results. But then I did start taking Tylenol. I took Tylenol for two nights and that helped my body. They made the body aches go away. So that was a great relief. And then the congestion was all I had left. And now that I'm able to use the steamer, that's helping out a lot too. But um, yeah, so I just want to tell y'all that's where I am. I haven't vlogged um, all week. I mean, I did work because I work from home, but and then River did stay home Monday, Tuesday, and then we took her to the doctor's office Tuesday to get her checked out because I don't want to send her back to school sick if she's going to infect somebody. Um, but because she started, her sickness started on Friday, she probably was already sick like, you know, during the school day. We just didn't know it because on Friday we took her to get her um, passport photo done and when Malcolm brought her to the post office, I was like, oh, she looks, she looks sick. And my baby just wasn't her normal self. And then her nose was running. And when we got home, I did her temperature. She had a fever. So we had been, of course, giving her lots of medicine, vitamins, uh, Vicks Vapor Rub, humidifier, all that. She is on the mend. Of course, her nose is still kind of congested. But that's partly because she doesn't want to blow it. Because she's two. And she does kind of have a cough a little bit. But um, hopefully by Monday, she'll be like, you know, all the way good. But whatever this is, got us down bad, y'all down bad and I feel like I'm always sitting in this car this whole vlog has been me in the car I'm gonna get out of this car I'm not waiting for my COVID test results and I'm scared that's why I keep talking because I'm scared okay if you don't mind to come inside the CVS store come to the back to the minute clinic I'll get your results together for you oh okay all right thank you why do I have to go in I'm like scared <laughs> that scared the heebie-jeebies out of me 
So it's negative, but I've never had a rapid test done before, and they make you come in. I didn't, I didn't realize I was gonna have to go in the CVS because I didn't even go in there to do my test, but they make you go in, sign paperwork, give you a blood pressure, and then they print your results out. And she's like, okay, you are negative. I'm like, okay, well you could have said that like when I first walked in here. So yes, negative. That's good to know. Just sick, just congested. So we're heading home. Yay. I'm gonna show y'all what I got at the thrift store. So I found this gold purse. I thought she was cute. She just snaps at the top. And this was $2.99. Another purse I found, and I was like, girl, you come home with me. What's this for? So it was like a little small hat box. She's got a little staining on her, just a little bit, but nothing that you can notice like from afar. And she opens like this. And this one was $3.99. It's actually considered a household item. They don't even have it as a purse, but I would carry it as a purse. I just love the, um, the detailing on there. Then, this was on the rack. Like the coming out to get hung up rack, but I picked it up before they hung it up. This bright yellow dress. It's a size medium and it's made by um, Who What Wear. Do they? I've heard of that before. Did they sell it at Target or something? I didn't try it on, but because it was flowing and loose, I know that I can wear this at least when I'm not pregnant for sure. But I probably could also wear it this summer. I thought that would be so nice. And then the last thing I got oh, that dress was this was high. This was $7.69, girl. It's a little rich for my butt, but I went on here and got it anyway. And then this top, I don't know, something about this top, I just felt like I should get it. Um, it has these sheer sleeves, and it's like, well, it's actually polyester. It was $4.69, but I really love the color, and I just knew that I could do some, some real cute stuff with this once I had my baby. And dress her up real, real nice. So that was it. Mom, Who's that? Huh? Baby. Who? Baby. No, who's that? River. River? He didn't get me. Here's baby boy. Today. And my belly button. Ooh, what's that? So this is the enthusiast kit for 28, 29, and 30 months. Ooh, look at all that cool stuff. Wow. What's that, baby? <laughs> we gotta look and see what all came with it. Oh, that looks fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look how pretty. Look at those little cups. Huh? It's little cups. And like a little napkin. Yeah. Like his backs. You like that? Yeah. I like that. that. Oh, look, you got some pails. I think you can use these for up here. We got to look in our kit. Oh, we got a new book. My favorite nature, buddy. You got a new book. Good morning, it is Sunday. We are opening up a new kit from Love Every. They give you a booklet that kind of shows you all the items. If you don't know about Love Every, they, um, see, here's your slogan, designed by experts for your child's developing brain. They make these play kits uh, for babies up until, I wanna say age three. And they also have toys and different items that stimulate uh, brain play and um, allow the kids to manipulate the items to learn we've been loving them um, I don't even buy other toys like there's there's no need it really does take the guesswork out of what you should get your children so and you could probably put like different toys and things in here to understand scales and balance they've got this uh, gardening pot River loves to pour water and the previous kit came with a sink if you haven't seen some of my previous vlogs it's featured in there 
Thank you very much to Love Every for sending this over to River. She loves them. And if you're interested, I'll have a link below where you can check them out. And this is the Enthusiast Kit.